or this file uh, input type. So the current count, we need to first of all select all uh, types uh, with uh, that have the f file property. So uh, all input types with this file here. So we use a selector and we say input and we have two square brackets and then we say um, type equals file. Now we've successfully selected here all input types on the page, so all input types here, uh, which have the form uh, the uh, type for uh, file. Sorry. And at the end of that, we just put length uh, without brackets like this. This is just going to count the amount of elements on the page. So at the moment, if we go ahead and alert out current underscore count, uh, you'll see that when we press add more, we have the value one. And this means that we can add a value to this, and then the next file uh, type we create, we can add this number here. So we can have file underscore two, and then the next time we click add more, the count will be two, so the next file will be file underscore three. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that alert. Okay, so now we want to do is supply another variable, which will just be the next count, or the next file count. I'm just going to call this next underscore count and that's going to be current count plus one. So now what we have is the name of the next um, form field, uh, this file field, uh, you know, available to us. We can call it file underscore file underscore next count and that will be two in this case because we've added one to this original variable. Right, so now we need to actually go ahead and prepend uh, an element to this form. So we need to first of all select the element that we want to prepend to, and this is file underscore upload. Remember that's the name of our fi uh, form here, file upload. And we want to go ahead and prepend something. So we're going to do this inside single quotation marks, and this is essentially going to be uh, paragraph tags, and then inside an input type of file uh, with a name of file underscore and this is going to be x. Now x is going to, uh, in a minute when we modify this, be the next count variable here. So what we want to do is we want to uh, just um, essentially just uh, append on this next count variable. So now the uh, Next, every time we press this button, so every time we click, we'll count the current amount of uh, input type files or input uh, input fields with a type file, add one on, and then create a new one with the file underscore and the additional count. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and test the actual functionality of it. So remember, prepend is essentially going to inside of the element that you specify prepend some data. So every time we prepend, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to prepend another input type there, okay, with the paragraph tags as we've specified it in ext.js. So let's go ahead and refresh. Let's click add more. You can see that it's prepending this code that we've supplied in ext.js. Now we need to go ahead, well, I'm just going to get rid of this at the top. Now we need to go ahead and check that it's actually uh, submitting it properly. So if, for example, I was going to choose a file here and click upload, uh, we've set the get uh, the method to get, so we see file underscore one equals tartan.jpg. That's not a problem because that's the name that we gave. Now we need to know that this uh, replacement of this variable or this number here has actually worked. So let's go ahead and check that. Uh, and we can check that by returning to the original page. We'll add, say, three different fields uh, and upload three different files. Uh, let's choose different files for each one. Upload. And now you can see that the variable that we replaced for the name has actually updated by one or incremented by one. So we've got one here, two here, and then file three here. And that will continue as you add more. So you could add 100 and you would submit uh, files. Uh, you would have you know, 100 different input fields uh, of the type file with the name being file underscore and then it would go from one to 100. So that's essentially it.
Uh, this probably is the easy uh, easiest way to do this uh, by just prepending this different e different element on. Uh, you'll notice that when we obviously upload, we lose all of these, uh, and that's for the reason that we're not actually sending this to uh, a file other than the start. Uh, so there are ways to make this slightly more efficient, uh, but this gives a really short and quick example uh, of how to achieve something like this uh, and how to file. Uh, obviously add different uh, or additional file uh, input types. Uh, now if you were going to go ahead and handle this in the back end, so for example uh, you would obviously go ahead and change this value here to post, uh, so it's sent as post data with this enc type here, over here. Now the action would obviously be a specific file, so for example it would be um, you know upload.php or something whichever language that you're using. Uh, and then you would have to obviously find a way in the the web language that you choose to grab all of these uh you know different file uh files that have been sent to this to this page uh, and that's quite easy i'm not going to go into it but you can use i know in php uh you could say go and use uh dollar underscore files uh, and you could uh, use a for each loop for each one so you could say for each files as file uh, and then you can retrieve the particular data from here uh, so it's quite easy to do with regards to uh, actually processing the uh, upload once you've sent it uh, but for now in jQuery uh, that's how we we, we would prepend uh, a uh, you know an additional element to uh, to a particular um, element so the reason we're obviously prepending is because we if we were going to go ahead and append and make these appear under underneath each other uh, it would automatically appear under this add more link at the very end of the form. Uh, so there are way, obviously ways around this. You can use the next and previous um, next and previous functionality in jQuery. Uh, but I think uh, prepending it's better because it then becomes the very most top element. So that's quite a quick and easy way to do it. Um, obviously there are ways to improve this code, but for now that's a, the quick and easy way to do this.